afternoon and welcome to the next v Beetle video, 2007 VW Beetle. Not last video, I left you on a cliffhanger with the uh, with the clutch. So now I've got it, it's time to install it in there. Then I can start putting everything back together. Right, time to open this up. Everybody wants a good unboxing. Let's right, hope so this is the right one. It should be. There we go. Broke the seal. So we have our plate, clutch plate. Compare it to old one, yeah, that looks to be right. It's even marked flywheel side, it's going to wrap her off this. Do a bit of comparisons with oven as well. Uh, there we go, that's flywheel side. Uh, I'll just do your comparison against the oven, you see seat thickness difference. And it's, see it's almost down to rivets on that one, so yeah, that's definitely the correct one. Um, Got a little tube of grease, presumably for input shaft. Got a release bearing, which you're going to need. And a pressure plate. And that looks a bit the same as, as this one. Yep. Yep, they look to be the same. Yep, there we go. We've got a match. So that's all good. So this one can uh, can be uh, recycled as appropriate. So before I think about installing anything, I need to uh, clean that flywheel off. I did give it a clean. You know, I've got quite a bit of the, the clutch dust off, and I need to get that engine supported. It's only hanging on by one mount, so. Need to get a bit of support on that, but I'll, uh, I'll clean the flywheel up off camera. I've cleaned up the, uh, the gearbox bell housing and the uh, clutch fork as much as I can. So it's just time to uh, fit this new release bearing. So this should just push out. There we go. Simple as that. Yep, that's definitely warm. So, a bit of a point putting that back in, and there's a nice new one. <sighs> Which looks to be the same, yep. Yeah. It's the same. Um, you haven't got a slight different design, but it's. See? See? Nowhere. Nowhere. Can you hear that? That's definitely worn. But this one, slightly different design. It does, it does the same job. So it just pops in like so. There we go, clipped in, ready to go. And this this side, this flat side always faces towards towards the engine. And the clutch fork goes in like that now. What I'll do is I'll just uh, give it a smear of lithium grease around here. Because last time I did a clutch change, it was on the uh, it was on my uh, previous daily driver 2002 Citroen Zara Picasso. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen. I had to change a clutch on it. That's that the thing that was wrong with it. So just make sure. Yep, that's a nice sliding fit. And I've really made the mistake of not greasing the uh, the splines on the input shaft. So they actually get stranded, so... 
because uh, the gear lever popped out. Uh, this clip goes in like that, the wide bit at the bottom. It goes in there and then it should just... Let's have a look, have I got this right? Yep. Probably a bit difficult, but... <coughs> Put that up there. Make sure I've got it the right way around. Yep, that's that's the correct way around. <coughs> so just guide that into there. <coughs> now this is and I could do with my pick. <sighs> yeah, I think I'll, I'll grab me I'll grab my pick here at this point. So I'll come back with a pick. And I'm back <sighs> with my selection of picks, so hopefully one of these should do the job. There we go. Simple when you got the right tool for the job. So that's that's a release bearing fitting onto the gearbox. And I'll just give this input shaft a smear of grease. There we go. And just uh, make sure this clutch plate will engage, yep. There we go. Shouldn't be any problems there. Get some grease on that. Okay, I'm not to get any muck anywhere else. Right, so ready to install this clutch. It's now time to get this uh, clutch on. <coughs> Got my clutch alignment tool. And this is the uh, drape one that fits, that attaches it. It holds the uh, clutch plate. On. So let's see if I can get this lined up correctly. <coughs> oh, my clutch plates. No. What else? Didn't tighten it up correctly. That's why it's moved. Again, <coughs> just slightly out. Shall I install this one correctly? Yeah. Flywheel side, yep, yeah. that's definitely in, in the correct spot. Oh, it might be one of these that will only go in one way. a bit better, so I'm a bit more hopeful. Just grab the bolt, which is should have turned really.
anybody a threat? So that's one started. I'm getting more bolts started. So that's two started. Mm. That's some more bolts started. I could just gradually wind it in bit by bit. Okay, so that's not going to go anywhere. Third one started. Once you got the bolt started, you're laughing basically. Five. And that's the sixth and final bolt started. With the impact, remember it's a nine, nine mil, it's a nine millimeter, twelve sided socket you need. <clears throat> Just wind them in gradually. Don't have to, don't have to go too mad. It all gradually fall into place. Bit at a time. <sighs> I think we're in, yeah. I just hope this this hasn't moved too much. Just grab a torch and we'll see if that clutch plate is centered. If not, there can be a bit of an adjustment needed. So shine a light. And just looking on there. I'd say that was pretty much centered. So next job is to get this gearbox on and that's going to be a struggle and I'm not going to do it on camera 
I don't know how long it's going to take, it's going to be an absolute struggle. But we've made a start, stuff's now going back on. Another day has gone by, and in the end, I had to face up to the fact that this had to come off. And this, this top of the tray goes like that that's the back and that's the front. And you can see those, uh, those bolts were never going to come out. Absolutely rusted on, so that should make things a bit easier getting this uh, gearbox on the engine. So I've had to get the big guns out, I've borrowed this engine crane from CDK Motors. <laughs> and I wouldn't have been able to get, get here without it. Bloody line it up, it's like trying to bloody dock at the International Space Station. In fact, it's probably easy. I've actually tried the uh, the drag in the capsule simulator. It's two times easier than trying to bloody make engine to a gearbox and a front wheel drive car. Anyway, I think I'm getting somewhere. Should have this gearbox on with it, with any luck. Seems to get it a bit closer. And I won't film it, it's gonna take ages to get it get it all in. So I'll come back to you when I've got it on. So the good news is I managed to get get the gearbox on. It went on without a fight. And I've managed to do up a couple of bolts. Uh about I think a 316 mils and there's an 18 mil at the back. So I can just start screwing bolts in. Button it up and then I put engine mount on and then it's just a matter of a buttoning it all up but I am over the worst and I'm eternally grateful to Craig at CDK Motors who's kind of lent me his engine crane and his, his, his 9 mil 12 sided socket without that wouldn't have been possible so thank you very much well I've got most of it buttoned up and I've just got I think basically the battery and the air box I've buttoned all the clutch and the clutch slave cylinder gearbox starter motors on. So I think it's just I'm just at home straight now. It's uh, it's nearly ten o'clock at night. So I'm gonna stop for tonight. But if I need to move this car, at least I can move it. It's on a, it's on its wheels. So all mechanicals are are all looked up so it can be moved at a moment's notice. So I've got everything buttoned up and I thought I'll just start it up just to make sure it's running alright and the normal noises we can clean the, clean the engine bay plastics it looks a bit better now so yeah. time for the moment of truth let's see if it'll drive I'll set you up on a tripod and you can uh, watch me set off So yesterday's uh, attempt at a drive was a fail because of this. And that means that there's uh, air's got into the uh, hydraulics on the clutch. So what I've done is I've uh, taken the air filter box out. I've got me a uh, one man bleeding tube in. And I just need to bleed the air out and just un undo the bleed nipple, that's an 11mm spanner. So, I'll get the air bled out and see if that makes any difference. So I think I've uh, bled the air out, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, before I operate the clutch I'll show you. Oh, I've still got it, I've still got the tube in place, that's how much, uh, that's what's come out. This clutch fluid didn't look too clever. I don't know, there's been a... Uh, Changed recently. Anyway, I think air got in when I took the slave cylinder off. So, right, time for the moment of truth. There we go, we have a clutch. 
So, make another attempt to at a drive, I'll need to uh, button everything up. But yeah, clutch is good. Simple job. And it can be done single-handedly. I know other YouTubers have used a pressure bleeder or could use it could use a vacuum bleeder. But I just opted for the uh, for the one-one bleeding kit, which is just a tube with a one-way valve on. Stuck it in a bottle in, a, in an empty water bottle. Job's done. So after that uh, clutch bleeding, we should be good for a drive. One way to find out. A confirmed fix it's working perfectly uh, no horrible noises so that's it at the end of this little clutch change saga so I hope you enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe share ring that notification bell and you get notified when one of my videos comes out questions and comments you know what to put them as ever thanks for watching and I'll see you